This video is about turning oddments of silk into scarves to dress up your classic wardrobe. Strategic use of scarves and squares will vastly increase your options. In reality, it is about how to neatly finish edges on silk and silk chiffon. A badly chosen method can ruin the enjoyment of wearing this gorgeous material. The edging mustn't dominate the look of the scarf. We want to stop the fraying and increase wearability. I'm going to show you my favourite method. Firstly, I want to talk about some of the fabrics that I will be making into scarves and squares. Silk is not nearly as expensive as you think. I bought most of these silks at sale time and some for less than £10 a metre. I will be making shirts and shirt dresses out of the longer cuts and kerchiefs out of what is over. Patterns and planes combined make lovely two-sided squares. This is another option for a neat finish and I shall cover that in a future video. These colours will look stunning with my blue jeans pattern and it doesn't have to be real silk. Many of the man-mades are amazing. This is a fabulous Devore fabric, often called Burnout. Some of the fabric is devoured using chemicals, leaving solid and translucent parts of the pattern. Again, patterns and planes in man-mades. So back to the edges. I had about two metres of this chiffon and I ripped it in half lengthways for a scarf. The selvage was fine, left as it is, and the ripped edge has rolled and is a pretty good edge without further finishing. But it may not last many washes. I frayed the ends, which is another good method, but you need to remove a good inch of crosswise threads to make the edge stable. We come to machine finishes. You see a lot of this and it is horrible. It's just plain overlocking. Here is a so-called rolled hem, again using an overlocker. It's nasty and stiff in my opinion. This is hemmed using a felling foot. I don't like this much. A thin double fold and running stitch along the edge. Perhaps you can get away with it on a dress hem, but not a silk scarf. No, it won't do. Again, using the overlocker, a narrow rolled hem, which is just not subtle enough. So I'm always looking for alternatives. This square has been through many, many washes. It was my favourite scarf for years, to wear with jeans, at the neck or as a headscarf. I still love this print, though I'm not crazy for flowery patterns normally. This is my favourite finish, a twice round, narrow zigzag over the edge, made on my old 5mm stitch width Benina. Most machines today are 7mm. And my newest banana is a 9mm machine and needs a different technique. If you are lucky enough to have a 5mm machine, hang on to it. It's not just about scarves. I use this finish on all lightweights where a hem is not wanted. This pretty evening blouse, again made in a man-made fabric, gets the treatment. It's perfect for ruffles. Lovely cuffs with Swarovski crystal buttons. And a lovely finish to the jabot to complete this glamorous evening look. So to start we want freshly cut straight edges. To straighten an edge in most woven fabrics, make a snip at the selvage and pull out a couple of threads. Pull up gently until you can see the disturbance in the weave across the complete length.
This is your guide for cutting. Cut off the selvage. We want the edges to be the same on all sides. So we are ready for machining. I'm using an embroidery foot which allows for a little more bulk under the middle of the foot to cope with our edge stitching. My stitch width is set to half the standard zigzag width and the length is about a regular machine stitch length. We are not after a satin stitch look here. Guide the edge into the middle of the foot. It will roll a little, which is what we want. But don't worry if it's not perfect, because the second time round will sort things out. You can even go around three times on some fabrics. Take care at the corners. Some machines behave better than others. Get as close as you can and make sure you finish with the needle down and on the left and turn the corner. The fabric may need a little encouragement at this stage. A good trick is to use tweezers rather than fingers to keep the fabric taut as it approaches the foot. So continue all the way round to the start, snip the threads and go round again. You will find the second round much easier as the feed dog has more to grip. So this is the finished result. This is a very organic edge. I feel it doesn't impose itself on the character of the chiffon. If you are watching this on the YouTube watch page, please leave a comment. I would love to know if you sew with a 5mm, 7mm or 9mm sewing machine. My next video will cover this subject using the wider 7 and 9mm sewing machines. So I hope you will be making scarves, the quickest way to add versatility to your clothes. Visit my site, angelacane.com, for my very own design patterns, in-depth sewing videos and instructional ebooks. Thank you for watching.